Today's actually Sunday, the 6th of October, but I'm starting this vlog on Saturday, the 5th of October. I didn't really get to film as much as I wanted to yesterday because one, we were really busy, and two, I was miserably hot. Um, the bad thing about Virginia is that it doesn't get freaking cold until like probably early November at best. I'm also talking quietly because my boyfriend's still asleep. Yesterday we went to the Powhatan Festival of the Grape. It's like a wine festival. Um, you basically pay for a ticket and then you get to taste like all these different wines. Just a little taste. There's like live music and we got food. It was really really fun Um, even though it was miserably hot and I was wearing black with long jeans and that was not a good option. And then after that we went to a drive-in movie. We saw the new Joker movie with Lady Gaga. In my opinion, it was bad. I don't like musicals. Not that they're not good singers, but I just didn't like it, um, honestly. And I thought the first Joker was so good that I was really just disappointed in the second one. But you know, go and see it and make your own opinions. But that was the first time that Tristan and I had been to the Goochland Drive-In together. So I was just really excited for us to check that off of our bucket list. Today is Sunday. I'm going to Carter Mountain, which is an apple orchard with my cousin and her baby. Like taste some cider, of course, get some apples and so hopefully some apple donuts is what I'm really looking forward to. But that's what we'll be doing. I don't think we'll be there super long, but I do have to go to work really early tomorrow morning. So that's irritating. So I do work Monday and Tuesday, but starting on Wednesday, I have five days off. And I think next weekend will be pretty fun too. So I think I'm just gonna film like for a whole week. My parents might come over. Friday, my friend Alexis is coming into town from New York. So really excited to see her. We're gonna get dinner. She's gonna see the house because a lot of my friends haven't seen it yet. Family haven't seen it yet. This is also the first time my cousin Jenna will be seeing it. Uh, next weekend, I have a couple photo shoots. Uh, Liza and I are gonna go to Spirit Halloween and go to Chili's for lunch and just have like a fun little girls lunch. The weekend after that, I will probably be vlogging too. I'm trying to vlog like every weekend in October because I actually have plans <laughs> every weekend in October and the first weekend in November. I'm also going to New York next month for a weekend, so I'll be vlogging that. After that, I'll probably just be working a lot, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun. So, like I said, today's Sunday, here's my outfit. Unfortunately, it's gonna be like 77 degrees today, which is disgusting, but I have to wear like a dress or a skirt because I will overheat and sweat. And I'm sure even in this, I'm gonna be sweating. So I think my cousin's about to be here to get ready for her to arrive. <laughs> Good morning. I don't remember what the last clip was, but today is Wednesday, October 9th. I have off for the next five days. I'm so freaking happy. I mean, I have photo shoots, so of course I'm always doing work, but I have off of my other job. 
which means I have so much more free time. I have a bunch of fun things planned. A lot of time to myself because my boyfriend's going out of town this weekend. This morning, I have a photo shoot in about an hour. Um, it's only for like 30 minutes uh, with this reoccurring client. I haven't seen her in almost a year. That's crazy, but I'm really excited to see her. It's for her, um, daughter's, her daughter's 13th birthday. She's also a dancer, really talented, talented dancer. But right now I'm about to go get her like a little boo basket slash birthday present. We were supposed to shoot this weekend, but she actually got the dates mixed up. We ended up having like literally two days to plan something and I was unfortunately working a lot, so I didn't have time to go get her something, but now I have time to go just pick her up something cute. I don't uh, know a lot of like 13 year old girls, so hopefully I pick something that she likes. We're going to Pump House Park, which I photographed in August. I don't know if I vlogged that. So who knows if those will see the light of day or if this will see the light of day, but I continue to vlog for some reason. I don't know why. So after our photo shoot, I'm gonna go home. I need to clean the house because my parents are coming over tonight. My parents like never come over, but they want to see my Halloween decorations. And guys, my Halloween decorations look so freaking good right now. I do have a Halloween party in next weekend. I'm just a small little Halloween party, but I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. I just love it so much. It makes me so happy. And the weather is finally starting to cool down. It's 57 degrees right now which is beautiful. I'm going to go into the store now and um, get her a little present. All right, let me show y'all what I got. This one's very cute and sparkly. First, I got her this Bath & Body Works Orange & Clove hand sanitizer. It smells very much like fall, so perfect. Got myself these uh, dangly Halloween spider lights. Got her these cutie little pumpkin socks for Halloween, little pink and orange pumpkins. She really likes Squishmallows. I hope she still likes them as much as she did last year. She has like so many but i got her this mystery one um in this cute little cat container got her a little pack of hubba bubba skittles bubble gum hopefully she likes that flavor all right so now i'm going to head over to the location um again it's pump house park i'm definitely going to be a little bit early but that's okay it's going to be a beautiful day and let's go <laughs> is a little weird because i've been vlogging like on and off i vlogged last weekend because we did some fall thing and this weekend was a long weekend for me so i might include some of the stuff from the past two days i don't really remember what i even filmed at this point today's friday i'm about to go into a weekend of fun fall activities i love october i'm actually at the grocery store right now I'm about to go in and just get groceries for the week slash i'm having a little halloween party get together just a small one next weekend so i want to get um some stuff for that i need to get some stuff like later in the week like fresh fruit and stuff like that but i wanted to get like snacks now because i know they're gonna be starting to get like really picked over by next week and that today uh other than that i'm gonna like walk my dog it's a beautiful day outside uh, my friend alexis is coming into town tonight i'm really excited about that because i haven't seen her in oh my god i don't when is the last time I saw her? I saw her last December, so it's been almost a year, which is so great. I think it's been almost a year. I'm gonna go get dinner at this restaurant that neither have been, uh, neither of us have been to before. It's this Italian place. I forgot what it's called. I think it starts with the G. I'm just gonna see my house for the first time. All my Halloween decorations are up. It looks so freaking cute. I'll have to show y'all too. Tomorrow, actually, I don't have anything planned, like nothing at all. Tristan's out of town, so I don't know if I'll just do like another cozy night in for myself and like watch Halloween movies and stuff like that. Sunday, I have a photo shoot in the morning with my best friend, Liza. I think we're gonna go to Maymont. Um, the weather's all supposed to be really nice. So I'm doing some headshots for her. That'll be fun to walk around Maymont. Sunday during the day, after the photo shoot, Liza and I are gonna go to Chili's um, because they're having like Halloween like drinks right now. And we've been talking about going to Spirit Halloween and like getting lunch. Um, because she knows how much I love Halloween. So we're gonna go to Chili's and get lunch, which I love Chili's and I haven't like eaten there in so freaking long. I, it, I know it's like kind of gross, but I just love Chili's. And then we're gonna go to Spear Halloween and just like look around. I literally already bought everything for four of my Halloween costumes for this year. I, I'm, I'm insane. But I just haven't been to Spirit Halloween this year and I feel like it's a rite of passage like every year, especially for someone like me who loves Halloween so much. And then Sunday night I have a, a maternity shoot so I probably won't vlog that because I'll be like really focused on my clients at that point. 
um, but I'll try to show y'all how it turns out. And then next week I do work every day, so I won't be vlogging during the week. But next weekend we have Halloween party, possible fire pit night, um, slash spooky photo shoot, hopefully. Every single weekend this month I have something fall cute planned and I'm really happy that I was able to do that this year because I love October, it's my favorite month. I'm a Libra moon and a Scorpio rising, so fall is just like embedded in me. So I'm really happy to be able to have like things planned. But I'm gonna go into Kroger now because I need to get groceries. I need to like basically get on with the rest of my day. I don't have to pick Alexis up until like 6.30ish. So we're gonna go into Kroger now and hopefully we find some like good things for a Halloween party next week. All right, I'm sure you can see my super cute Halloween decorations. Let's do a little grocery haul. I just got back. Luckily, I didn't spend as much as I thought I would. And I did get, I think, everything for the party besides wine and like fresh fruit for the sangria that I'm thinking of making. I also got like just food for my boyfriend and I for the week. I got him some of these bumblebee tuna salad snacks. He loves these things. We started trying these Just Crack and Egg kits. They're actually pretty good, high in protein. These are pretty good, quick breakfasts. For my spooky charcuterie this year, I'm doing like the prosciutto covered hand. So they use cream cheese for the hand and then they just cover it in prosciutto. I also saw people use, um, like mozzarella string cheese sticks for the fingers, but you can also just shape them with cream cheese. So I honestly have no idea. I haven't looked at a recipe. I don't know how much cream cheese I'll need. I'm probably gonna make like a smaller version though. I'm not gonna make it really big. Like it might not be my hand size. It might like be a child hand size. So I got two of these big things of uh, cream cheese, chive and onion. Also for my spooky charcuterie, I just got a thing of sharp cheddar. I was trying to do like very orange cheese, some butter, spreadable butter, crackers for my charcuterie board. I got rosemary. I also got the uh, classic water crisps. These are the ones that are like a little bit thinner. Uh, so I got some fettuccine for pasta night. Got two things of organic strawberries. I think ha having to spend more for organic produce is such a scam. I just got two avocados. Also for the Halloween party, I'm doing like finger food appetizers and then like desserts. I'm doing like the mummy hot dog. I love hot dogs. I know they're disgusting to some people cause like you don't know what's in them. I know they're gross. Okay. I love pigs in a blanket. So basically it's like a pig in a blanket but like the way that you wrap it around the hot dog makes it look like a mummy. <laughs> so I'm making these like Halloween brookies. You might've seen them if you're on social media. Uh, basically you take Oreos and you take like the Pillsbury Halloween cookies and you put them at the bottom of like a brownie, like a cupcake kind of shaped brownie. And I didn't get any icing, but I don't really think I'll need icing for those. I feel like that just make it, I feel like that might just make it really sweet. Halloween Oreos, I'm sure I won't be using all of them. So I'll probably put the rest out to eat. Um, also the candy salad trend I have been wanting to do for months. So I was like, this is the perfect opportunity because a bunch of people are coming over. I can get everyone to bring like two bags of a like sour or gummy candy. I also bought like little treat bags so everyone can take some candy salad home. So this is my contribution to the candy salad. I've never done one, so I didn't know how much to buy. So I think maybe I should have gotten just one of these for family size, but I may be including one extra person now. So I just wanted to have enough, so I got the regular Nerds Gummy Clusters and the Very Berry Nerds Gummy Clusters. These are one of my favorite candies, so. So for the charcuterie board, I got these Ritz Toasted Chips. These are veggie veggie flavored toasted chips. Um, I like to get these Kroger pre-made salads because they're just easy. I know like you should make your own salads fresh, but you know what? I don't have time for that. Again, for the spooky charcuterie, I don't know how much prosciutto I'll actually need. I'm kind of afraid that it might not be enough, but I think I can cut the pieces up into smaller pieces. So got two of these uh, salami, oh, I hit my face. Of these salami um, like variety packs. And I wanna make little roses, oh, I wanna make little roses and little like, I don't know what they're called. Eggs for egg purposes. I got these Simple Truth uh, rice and almond thin crackers. I really like these, but I haven't tried this flavor. I usually get, um, I think it's like tomato basil and they're kind of like a like an orange red color, but I saw these, which are Buffalo Ranch and these are orange. <laughs> so I know it'll look good with the colors on my board. I'm not gonna have any trick or treaters this year. I'm actually gonna spend 
Halloween night at my grandma's because she always gets a ton of trick-or-treaters and we like cook out and um, have like a fire pit and it's just really fun to spend Halloween with my family. But I did get candy for this uh, three-tier dish that I'm actually propping up my phone on right now, which is what you see right here in the corner. I thought these were perfect. So it comes with Reese's pumpkins, Reese's bats. We have uh, different flavors of Kit Kats, the witch's brew one. We have the, I don't know what flavor this is, just white chocolate, I guess. Um, and then I also just got some fun size Twix because I like Twix. And hot dogs for the mummies, the little wiener mummies. I have Gouda, a smoked Gouda wheel. And I also have this cranberry goat cheese, cranberry cinnamon goat cheese, ooh. Another thing that I'm doing Doing, and I did it last year. Basically, it's just black and orange um, tortilla chips and then guacamole. I feel like guacamole looks Halloween-y. <laughs> um, almost done. I got two of these Kroger cranberry juice juices. These are the 100% juice ones, not the juice cocktails, but they're still really, really high in sugar. But I was also going to use it for my party because I got the like syringes from Dollar Tree and I was going to have like a dark berry Halloween looking sangria, like a red sangria. And then I was also going to have just like Prosecco with like cranberry juice filled up in little syringes because I thought that'd be cute. I'm gonna take my dog for WA OK. So yeah, that was my little grocery haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Mm. Finally getting ready um, for dinner. I have to leave in like 30 minutes. Um, so it takes me about 30 minutes to drive to the airport and she lands like right at 6.30. And of course, like it takes you like maybe 15 minutes to get off of a plane. It took me forever to choose my outfit. I feel like I don't know, like, I don't know what to wear out anymore. <laughs> it's still like kind of warm outside. I have a lot of dresses um, and like skirts, but I haven't really taken the time to put any like fall outfits together. So I think I need to take the time to do that because I truly am like, I don't know what to wear, especially cause I'm like, we're going to dinner. I've never been to this restaurant. I don't think it's super fancy. I also feel like I'm at a weird age where I'm like, like what can I wear and have it make me look like fashionable and youthful, but not like I'm 21 because I don't know. I'm not 21. So why would I want to look 21? I hate also when I have an outfit in my head and I try it on and then I'm like, oh, that actually looks really bad. And um, your girl has a lot of body image issues and always has, unfortunately. Honestly, I might change out of this outfit. I don't know, I'm just, I always put on just a little bit too much. And it's interesting because the other color I have is like a lighter pink and I always feel like it just, like I blend it and then it's gone. This is very pigmented, which I like because I love blush. I like to look, you know, very rosy. I'm gonna set my face with this LA Girl Shimmer Spray. Uh, I'm gonna clean up my mascara and eyebrows when they dry a little more. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and like, I'll see how I feel about makeup outfit combo. Okay, I'm really hoping that this doesn't look <laughs> awkward, but I don't really have time to change again. So I have this white top, um, this orange bralette, this pretty, pretty orange skirt, very fall. And I'm wearing white Converse because I don't know what else to wear at this point. I think it's cute. Maybe it looks a little awkward, but you know what? I don't care. I can eat pasta in this. We're ready to go. Love you. Hi. Happy Saturday. Uh, a little after 10 right now. I'm still in my PJs. Lexus and I went to Gersey, I think is how you pronounce it. It was so freaking good. I cannot believe that I haven't been there or heard of it. It was like on a little side street. And when you walked in, it felt, it didn't even feel like Richmond anymore, honestly. It felt like very New York to me because it was so small. And apparently they actually have a location in Brooklyn. So that's interesting, but food was so, so good. The cocktails were so good. Um, It was definitely busy and packed. So I'm glad we made a reservation because we had to sit at the bar, but we had like a cute little outdoor area. Yeah, so dinner was great. And then I took her back here to to show her the house because I've lived here for like two years and she's never seen it. Um, And then we like watched a movie and then 
then I took her home. Um, today, I don't actually have anything planned today. No photo shoots, no get togethers or anything like that. So I decided to make it like a little me day because my boyfriend's out of town for the day. So I'm about to get changed and take my dog for a WALK because it's really nice out right now. It is going to be like, I think almost 80 today, which is bleh. I'm so done with the summer weather. It's just awful. I want to get a lot of work done on the computer. I have some editing to do for photos. I have so many YouTube videos to edit. I've already gone over this. Yeah, so I'm just gonna like be in my pajamas and basically work on my computer for the rest of the day. I want to make a Halloween mood board. I did it last year and it was so much fun. I love making like vision mood boards out of um, magazines and like stickers and stuff. So I like to do it like one a season. I really should do them more often. So I'm gonna go get changed because I just am ready to start my day. It's past 10, like let's go start our Saturday. Okay, so as you can see, I'm home now. I didn't vlog any of me walking the dog at the gym because it's just, who cares? <laughs> I just walked my dog for 30 minutes and then I did the stair stepper at the gym for 30 minutes just to get a good sweat in. I didn't end up doing any machines because it was kind of packed, but I don't know. I'm just really feeling lazy today. So as you can see, I took a shower and I have a face mask on from Lush. This is their sleepy face mask. It smells so freaking good. And I'm very hungry because I haven't eaten yet. 12, 17 and it's time for lunch. All right, all afternoon, I have been sitting on my computer editing posting pictures on my photo Instagram, which I will link down below, and also watching some Halloween movies. But now I really want to make, I really want to make my Halloween like mood vision board because I really should have done it by now. I mean, we're almost halfway through October, which is so sad to me. This is my favorite month, um, but that's okay because we still have fun things planned and I'm really excited for everything next month. A lot of traveling next month. Yes, yeah, so now I'm going to make my little Halloween board. Let me kind of show you what I have going on here. So I have um, some Halloween magazine. This is from last year. This is from this year. This is actually from Thanksgiving last year, I think. I have my glass of wine with my little spooky hand. I think it's so cute. And then here is a box of most of my other magazines. And they're actually, they're mostly gardening magazines that my friend gave me and Gooby loves them. This is my binder full of stickers. And this is not even my entire collection. I still need to do a video on my sticker collection because it's absolutely insane. So I usually take a piece of, you can use whatever construction paper or cardstock. I find that this watercolor paper um, is just a really nice thickness and holds up really well. It is a little bit bigger than like the normal frame size. I think this is, yeah, nine by 12. So you do have to buy like a frame this size if you are interested in framing your boards. I really need to start like a binder full of my boards because I just have them like in a pile somewhere and I feel like that's not really, I have so many I can't hang them on a wall at this point. So basically I'll just look through my scraps and see what I like. Uh, cut stuff out and then end up putting it together and then I finish it up with some stickers so I'll show you like halfway through and then I'll show you the finished product but I feel like I need to do like a full sit down video of this so if you guys are interested in that please let me know and I'm watching Halloween Town because I haven't seen it yet this year right Gooby? <laughs> oh my cat giving me the side eye <laughs> Right, so this is my final um, vision board for this year's Halloween. I'll um, show you my other one in a second from last year. I have to trim the edges still, but I think it's cute. Very fall orangey, not just Halloween. And add some cute stickers. Let me show you in comparison. So this is last year's. It's definitely better. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's a little after nine in the morning. My best friend and I were supposed to start her photo shoot at 10 at Maymont. We're running late. <laughs> That's fine with me. We'll probably not even get there until like 10.30 maybe, but I need to do a little makeup. So I'm totally fine with that. Also, I don't have another photo shoot until five. We have plenty of time. I don't have any other plans today. We're gonna do her photo shoot. It probably won't take that long, maybe like 30 minutes. And then we're gonna go to Chili's. <laughs> I told my other friend that the other day and she literally started laughing at me and I'm like why is it so bad that I like plan to go to Chili's. I haven't eaten at a Chili's in like years and they have a witch's brew marg right now which is literally just a green margarita like that's <laughs> that's what it is. They're six bucks and I want to get one. It probably doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it but that's okay I'm not trying to 
get twisted on a Sunday all the day. I just want to be like spooky, you know what I mean? And then after we eat lunch, we're gonna go to the Spirit Halloween. The next month is gonna be really, really fun and I'm really excited to vlog. So I'm gonna go pick out an outfit while I let all this dry. And then I'm gonna take it off my face, all the like mess ups. All right, I just finished getting uh, dressed. I'm just wearing my uh, <laughs> Stephen Rhodes Portal to the Cat Dimension t-shirt. I thought it was appropriate since we're going to Spirit Halloween. I also have my little uh, dangly skeleton earrings on, so cute. Also, yes, hopefully you like the, the bloody handprint decorations for Halloween. I still have to touch it up a little bit. But yeah, so I'm just wearing that and like some leggings. And then I'm gonna put on my, um, my white filas. But I just want to be comfortable. Honestly, I'll probably get hot. And then later tonight when I have my maternity shoot, I will put on a black dress because I would like to look nicer. But since right now I'm just going out with my friend and we're getting lunch, like it's a big t-shirt and, and yoga pants today. So I think she's also about ready. So we are going to leave shortly. <laughs> got back from spear halloween that was so much fun it was so beautiful outside the pictures look great already i'm very excited to edit them and get them back to her lunch was great i can't remember the last time i sat down on a chili's the witch's brew margarita was actually really good it was a good balance between sweet and sour and it wasn't like overly like apple flavored it was just like a nice it was cute i don't know it was cute and we got a triple dipper we got pasta i'm so full um and then we went to spirit halloween unfortunately the one that we went to was kind of bad like was really dark really narrow and didn't have any home decor like i'm used to there being so much more home decor i guess because the store was actually like pretty small but there was no animatronics so i'm wondering if i should go to a different location just for funsies like literally literally just for fun and because i do like the home decor i think it's cute but i did find something for my halloween costume that according to their online website wasn't at this location so let me show you guys what i got first i just got some regular so they're it looks like uh like knee-high socks i might just keep them i guess i'll find out anyway they look like this so it looks like knee-high socks i don't know i feel like that would still be cute for the costume and then honestly i don't know if i'll need this i need to go check right now and look at my makeup and see what i have i meant to do that before i went to spirit halloween but I just got a tube of yellow cream makeup for my spongebob costume because i will be doing face paint for that and then this is what i was trying to get um online because i thought they didn't have it at spirit halloween it's spongebob's little uh crusty crab hat isn't that, <laughs> is that all i got oh and then i got um i should have gotten one for myself but i'm not a huge twi hard i got this uh edward twilight sticker for my friend dom because she loves twilight and I don't know if she has any stickers, but I thought this was fun. So I got that for her. Um, now I think I'm gonna lay down and take a nap, to be completely honest. I'm so tired. I have a shoot at five, so I have like three hours. I'll probably just vlog when I get to my parents' house for dinner later. Hopefully we'll be able to like sit on the patio and stuff. So I will update you guys later. Mm -hmm. 